Our tutorial for today is a masquerade mask. This is an intermediate level tutorial and you're going to need a basic understanding of the peyote stitch. This is our list of materials needed. Now you're going to need scissors, elastic beading cord, whatever kind of stretch cord, it doesn't really matter. You can get it from most Walmarts or other kinds of craft stores. We're going to um, have to decide what kind of coloration do you want. Do you want a solid colored mask like I have the, this one here? Would you want to do certain rows different colors? Or do you want to do it um, every row a different color like this one here? And I will give you a bead count for each row so you'll know how many beads that you need to color that. You need 36 red, 24 yellow, 18 green, 24 blue, 18 white, and then you're going to need three additional beads for the bridge in between your two hexagons because when you put them together you have to weave it together with those additional beads. You're going to need roughly two to three feet of string and there should be enough to complete one side of the mask. This mask is based off of a basic hexagon shape. We combine them together uh, to make the mask. We're going to start with the red layer on the inside, but eventually we're going to add one more layer which will give you an eyepiece shape. But for right now, we'll just start with the red layer. We're going to need 36 beads to make a single, just like you would if you were making a standard peyote stitch cuff. This is the end to step one. Once we have completed this, I will join you again for step two. Now we need to tie our single together with a simple square knot where you take your string, you cross them over, you go under and then over. And we're going to do this a series of two to three times until you feel that your knot is fully secured. Once you have a secure knot, you sn snip off the excess end while leaving the long end still attached. So as you can see with the yellow row on here, this differs from a regular peyote stitch because on the corners you have two beads instead of one in the space. So it's going to be a series of two beads, then one bead, then another bead, then two beads, then one bead, one bead, two beads. And this alternates all throughout this entire pattern. Adding on the two additional beads is very, very important because this is what causes the angle of the entire shape. So we are going to pick up two yellow beads and add them onto our string. And then we are going to separate our beads, go over our red bead and then through the additional one. So the yellow beads sit on top of a bead. Now we're going to take our string, add on an additional yellow bead, only one this time, and then we're stringing into our next bead. If you do not know how to do a regular peyote stitch, I suggest you go watch another tutorial. I will link to an annotation to my tutorial. You need to learn the skill before you can do this. Now we are adding on an additional yellow bead again and we're going to string through like you normally would. You can start to see the shape slightly forming already. Now this time we're adding two beads on. And now we're doing the same thing. We're doing the regular payout stitch but with two beads in the space. And now you see the shape kind of start to form where the corners are coming out and then that's how we get the hexagon shape. Our next step is to complete the green layer. Now you can see it is the one in the middle and it goes all the way around. It's just a basic stitch. The only difference is that where we have the two beads for the corner, we're going to string through both beads. We're not putting a bead in between them. 
we're just simply stringing through both of them at the same time and continuing exactly as you would with a regular peyote stitch. Now we're going to take our string and add on one bead. We're going to loop through our first yellow bead that we come to. Pull the string through. We're going to add on another green bead and string through the other yellow bead and add on another bead. And this time, this is where we come to the corner, and we are going to string through both yellow beads. So it goes through both of them. Not through one, but through both. Continue your way all the way around the hexagon until you reach your last end, and if you so choose to, you can tie off just in case you have the string break, so just tie a little knot around it, or you can keep going. It's all up to you, but I will see you during the next step. We have now come to the most difficult part of this entire process, the blue layer. Now this is not a traditional peyote stitch because of the v-shape cut in each of the sides. Now how do we achieve this look? What we're going to have to do is when the string comes out of that green bead, when you get to the edge where you have the two of the yellow beads, when our string is coming out of the green, you add on your blue. And then you're going to take the string and go directly into that yellow bead below it and then sh the string goes back through the green bead into a red bead to the next red bead right below it up to the yellow you add your blue bead on and then string it through the green I know this is kind of difficult to follow, which is why I'm inserting a diagram right below this. I hope that the verbal explanation and then the visual, visual representation will be easier to follow. I'm also going to show you how to do it with the beads itself. So we're going to add on a blue bead, string through your green and we're going to add on another one and then that's when we get to our corner so you string on another blue bead go through a green bead and then just pull your string through add on your other blue bead now we are stringing back through only one of the yellow So we go through the yellow, pull it through. Now we are going into the green, right there. Now we are going directly down to the red, right below it. Now we are going to the red, right next to that one. And now up to the yellow, directly above the red that you just strung through. Now we are adding on a blue bead. 
and stringing through a green bead. I hope that one of the three ways will help you understand this process. I know it's kind of difficult, but that's why this is an intermediate tutorial. I will see you guys after you finish this step. Bye! We are now giving the mask an oval-like, eye-shaped piece that you normally find with masquerade masks. We achieve this by adding an additional row to the inside of our hexagon. I'm choosing to use white for this. You're going to need 18 beads. We're going to take one bead and put it into every open section. Now in the corners, you will notice that two of the beads more, more, more than likely have pushed up against each other. So it's become a very tight space. This has happened because of the two additional beads that we put on there that created those corners. Now we're going to have to actually put beads between those and that's what distorts the hexagon which makes that oval like shape. So we're going to add a white bead on and we're going to string through that crevice and we're going to pull it tight. Add on your white bead, put it through your red bead, pull it tight, add on an additional bead, string through your next bead, pull tight. Now you might have some difficulty with the shape of this, but as long as you kind of like pull on it and adjust it, then it should sit in right. And now we're at the corner where we need to string through that white bead. And this is the more difficult, again, of the part because of those corners. So just make sure that you don't accidentally string through both of the beads. Make sure that you actually do get in those corners because that's the most important part of this whole process. Now that you have gotten your two hexagons, we're going to take a small piece of string and weave between the two beads in the very bottom and then add our string together, put on a blue bead to fill in that string and then separate out again to go out to the two beads and then add on one bead and then go through the two beads. It sounds kind of complicated, but it's it's very simple. If you put the two pieces together, you can see where the gap is and where those additional uh, beads will be going. So you're going to take your string. It's just one piece of string. You're going to add the bottom bead to one side and the bottom bead of the other to the other side of the string. Now you're going to put the ends of your strings together. If it starts to fray on you like mine has, then you can cut off the ends. You add one bead on. You string through the second bead. with one side of the string, and you take the other side of the string, string up the other bead. You're going to pull those two ends tight, and make sure you pull it very tight so it stitches together, and so you get a shape like that, so it looks like it is one peyote stitch. Now that your mask has been joined, we are going to add elastic to the sides of it so it will fit around your head. What we're going to do is you're going to take your elastic cord, you're going to put one side to your temple, and then wrap it around the back side of your head, and bring it around to your other temple. When it's about uh, there, add on maybe an additional inch 
for length for when you tie your knots and then cut it off and that's going to be the size that you need for your mask and it's going to keep it secure and tight to your head. So mine is about probably a little bit more than a foot and we're going to take it and find the two beads that are in the middle on your outside layer and we're going to string through both of those beads. So just for me it's the middle two blue beads. And now we're going to just tie a simple square knot, so over and under. And you're going to tie it a couple times, as many as you want. There are many different ways that you can tie this on. I found that this way is the most simple, and it's the easiest if you want your string to remain hidden. But if you don't mind that the string kind of being obvious, you might want to double it over for more strength or however you want. And you take the opposite side and do the exact same thing. You go through the two middle beads and you just tie your square knot. Once you are done, cut off your excess string. You have now successfully completed your masquerade mask. I hope that this tutorial was very helpful for you guys and that you enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me, comment below, anything, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Bye!